I guess every kid wants to be a firefighter. Kenny Wright was one of those kids who fulfilled his childhood dream. I was a Chesterfield firefighter. A job he held for 29 years before retiring in 2011. What kind of spot would you say you're in right now? A tough one. On March 11th of this year, Kenny Wright learned what it's like to be on the other side of his former job. As a firefighter, you, you have empathy for the people who lose homes and family. But, you know, they say you can't understand someone until you walk in their shoes. So it's definitely different to be in that position. Wright, a longtime diabetic, was in St. Francis Hospital being treated for a foot injury when his Amelia County home caught fire. Well, my home has been condemned by the building inspector's office. At the time of the fire, a female roommate was inside. She had just moved in January 2nd. She had no place to live. So I was trying to help her rec relocate to Virginia. His friend didn't make it out of the house. Wright also lost six pets. Wright has been in a rehab facility since getting out of the hospital. Every day I go in and do some type of work with my legs and they have something they put over the injur injury site to help heal inside my foot. But when it's time to leave, he has no place to go. For now, he has one goal. I want to get back in that house. On a fixed income and with no idea if insurance will help him, the former firefighter now feeling in limbo. Wright tells me he has tried to find a place to stay. I've been calling apartments in the area to just get on a waiting list as a temporary solution. A couple of friends who are former firefighters are trying to help Wright find a place to stay. But on the budget he has, it is indeed a tight spot for a first responder who is used to helping and not being the one needing help. Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.